the underlying pressures uh, in the housing market are so um, so dominant that it's it's really unlikely that any uh, limited package is going to have uh, the effect of, of solving all of the problems. And in the housing situation, it's really um, a, a mismatch between the, the housing supply we have and the uh, ability and willingness of, of the population to, to buy and finance that housing stock. Uh, we don't have the same sorts of problems that Florida and California do, uh, but we do have a, a, a problem with uh, very strong building in our region over the last few years, probably in excess of our reasonable needs. Uh, we also had uh, a lot of um, risky mortgage uh, lending and borrowing. And so as our housing market has corrected uh, to lower prices, much, much lower building activity, it has caused a lot of distress for uh, many, many homeowners. Uh, so these are the larger forces that are, are working themselves through our market and every, everywhere else in the country. And so the, uh, the plans that the Obama administration has put through, again, just as with the stimulus plan, really are uh, more likely to cushion the blow rather than change the, the overall situation or change the trajectory of the markets. So the, the, uh, the main uh, thrust of the plans uh, are to make it easier for some borrowers to refinance. Uh, those borrowers who, uh, of course this is difficult to identify, but uh, what, what the plan is calling responsible borrowers uh, who have just been kind of blindsided by the, the very, very rapid change in the, in the housing markets and the mortgage markets. Uh, so uh, some number uh, on the order of uh, perhaps 10 percent of mortgage holders might qualify in this area, and then a somewhat smaller number um, of borrowers might qualify for uh, modifications, so some, some actual relief uh, to try to change the, change the terms of mortgages.